Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your pal, Apostle. I'm here with another Mendersley Logic Basics tutorial. Today, we'll be covering draw and draw flush, which is how you take, uh, basically, how you draw onto these uh, displays here. We're going to go through it step by step. So first, we're going to come in here. We're going to get rid of this stuff here because this was from my uh, print flush uh, tutorial. Uh, let me see here. We're going to go ahead and do a draw. And we're basically, we're going to put something in here. It doesn't matter what we put. I, I guess we can do a clear first. That's fine. Clear uh, basically just gets rid of whatever you had on the screen. If you have it at 0, 0, 0, it'll make the uh, screen black. But if you have it at, like, say, 255, 255, and 255, let me get rid of this, it'll make the uh, screen uh, white. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. We'll go to uh, Draw Flush. And uh, you'll see when we get back here, the screen should now be white because uh, we're drawing white to the board. Basically, we're setting the background color to whatever we want. So just like with print and print flush, draw and draw flush work exactly the same way. So let's say we drew the white onto the backboard here, but we want to add something else to it. Uh, what that something is, I don't particularly care. We're going to do a, let's do a poly. And we're going to do a poly at... Uh, I think, I think the size of this is 176, so we're going to, right in the middle, we're going to put it at 88, if I recall correctly. Uh, we're going to have it have six sides. This is how many sides your poly is going to have. Uh, radius is just basically how big it's going to be from the center to the outer perimeter. Uh, let's have this one be, have it be 80, essentially. It'll take up most of the uh, screen. And uh, we have to draw the color. Let's change the uh, draw color for this one. We're going to go to draw color. So we're going to change what this poly is going to look like. Let's make it a red. So it's going to be 255. We'll set these ones to zero and zero. These are the, uh, this is the red value, the green value, and the blue value. Uh, the alpha value depends how transparent it is. So full 255 means it's totally opaque. But if we set it to, let's say, 100, it should be kind of see-through. So let's go ahead and see how that looks. Let's go back out here. And as you see, we have our red thing here, and it's sort of see-through. But if we go ahead and change this to 255, it should be much more bright. There you go. So that is how the draw and draw flush works. Essentially, you keep adding draws to the stack. You say, okay, I want you to do this. I want you to do this. I want you to do this. And then you send all those draw calls to the draw, draw flush, and it kind of draws them all in order for you on your logic screen. I hope that was clear. Hopefully you guys uh, understood that. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave me a question down in the description, uh, down in the comments, and I'll try to help you if I can. Uh, and hopefully you guys want to see more of this. I'll be back with another Ministry uh, Logic Basics tutorial before too long. I'll see you guys then.